there's actually two items in this bag here. Hello everyone, if you're new to my channel, welcome! My name is Amy and I have a super exciting unboxing today from Cartier as you can see from the thumbnail. However, the twist is that I did not get what I said I would get in my wishlist video. Just bought this yesterday, I'm gonna be unboxing it with you. I haven't even opened any of this. But before I get started, I wanted to thank today's video sponsor, Ana Luisa. I'm super proud to announce that I've officially become their brand ambassador. Today, I'm going to feature four of the items that I'm already wearing on me. I have two beautiful, very dainty bracelets on my arm, as well as two other dainty necklaces on my neck. In the past, I've chosen more of their statement jewelry, so the gold-plated jewelry that is maybe the base metal is brass or some other metal. But for this time, I really just wanted to choose everything in their fine jewelry line so all of these are 925 sterling silver plated with gold and they are so so pretty so right here I have stacked two of their bracelets they're also adjustable so I am currently wearing it on the shortest setting I got the matching necklace with the dainty little loop and I'm currently also wearing it on the shortest setting, but there are two extra settings so you can make it a lot longer. These two are also 925 sterling silver and gold plated. Ana Luisa is also having their Mother's Day sale starting today actually, so you can shop right now on their website. So if you click on my link down below, you're automatically going to get 15% off of your order at checkout. If you're in the USA, as long as you order by May the 5th, or international May the 3rd, then you're guaranteed to receive your items with standard shipping by May the 9th, which is Mother's Day. They offer a 365 day, so basically one year warranty on all of their pieces. Their pieces start at $39 and up, and they are made in small batches so that there's no wastage, which also speaks to their sustainability and carbon neutral mission. One of the examples that I can give you is that these pieces that I'm wearing right now, these four pieces are actually made of recycled material, so recycled sterling silver. You get your items in a box like this with little pouches with the jewelry inside. So definitely check out the links down below. You can also browse their other items. Like I said, I just chose the very dainty pieces today, but I usually go for their more statement pieces and all of their pieces are gold plated anyway or sterling silver so you can uh, know that they are long lasting. So I'm gonna do the unboxing, wear the items, give you my first impression and then I'm gonna talk you through my experience as well in case you're interested because this is the first time that I bought anything from Gatsier. Which item should I go for first? Small or big? Okay, let's go for the small item first. My very first time unboxing Cartier and I, I feel like I've seen a lot of unboxings online but I just have never done it myself. I love how the box just kind of shifts out. I got myself a Justin Clou ring. This is in the small size in rose gold. Small meaning that it is the thinner version. So those of you who are not familiar, they have their classic line which is a thicker version and this one is a thinner version. There's no diamonds, nothing like that, but I just find this design, the uh, inspiration behind it, like using a nail to wrap around your finger, just really edgy and cool. And I wanted to have something on this hand, so I'm already wearing my CDC ring, and it's in rose gold as well. Just wanted to add extra rings. This is how it looks like with the nail head towards the wrist. How cool is this? I love it. Let me try the other side, see if it makes a difference. So that's the other side. I like the other way around, so the, the nail head towards the wrist. I feel like this is the cooler way. So there's a couple reasons why I chose this ring and why I thought about getting this ring to uh, add to this hand. Uh, first of all, it's in rose gold and second of all, I just liked the design. But third of all, it's the fit. So I especially like the fact that it's a thin band, as you can see, there is space in between kind of like the nail head and my fingers, which will allow my fingers to swell if they ever do, because I, I do suffer from arthritis and especially it affects my index, my middle finger and my, um, my thumb as well as my wrist, less so on my ring finger and pinky. 
to a certain extent it does, but like more so on my index, I'm, I'm sure you can tell just by looking at my hand that my biggest knuckle is on my index, as you can see, because um, yeah, the arthritis really deformed my hands a lot and it especially affects my dominant hand. But the fact that this ring has more of a space where the nail head design is kind of allows me to have more of a leeway whenever I get more swollen. Uh, and hopefully this will, you know, allow me to at least be able to wear a ring on this hand, on this finger especially. I also love that this size, so the small size, is really comfortable and is a lot cheaper as well. So, oh, I think it's so good. I think it's so good. I love it. I love it. All my items are made in Switzerland. It actually doesn't say it on the paperwork, but while I was shopping the item, the tag that I was attached on the items said made in Switzerland. I don't know if that makes any difference because I heard Kat mention it before, so um, I just thought that I would mention it. I have no idea if I'll get used to the feeling of this, but that's why I'm getting started with one item at a time. Push the little button here to reveal the love bracelet in the small size, and mine is in rose gold. So yes, I did not go with the Justin Clou bracelet. I'm going to walk you through uh, the reasoning why, but yeah, this is the 15 centimeter, so like the absolute smallest size that they have right now, 15 centimeter Justin Clou, uh, sorry, <laughs> love bracelet in the small, thinner version in rose gold. This is so pretty and definitely has some weight to it. The bracelet up close. basically a bangle and as you can see there are two sides to the bangle there's the hinge side and then there's the screw side so this one is a little screw you do need the screwdriver that it comes with to unscrew this one side to open it so all you do is a quarter turn and you will be able to open the hinge which is one of the reasons why I like this design because it doesn't come apart. The regular classic version does come apart, so the two pieces separate and you have to screw on both sides. Each piece also has its own serial number, so um, you are able to bring it back to Cartier for a free cleaning at all times. So this is how it looks on my wrist. So it still has quite a bit of room for it to move so it won't stay in one place, which will probably be comfortable enough to wear. The other reason why I love that it's a one screw is that I can put it on and off by myself. All the new jewelry looks like on me. I have my beautiful Ana Luisa dainty bracelets. I have my um, still dainty, but definitely a lot more substantial bracelet uh, and probably semi-permanent on my, on my wrist. Not sure if I'll keep it on my dominant hand or non-dominant hand, but if I went by just matching the rose gold jewelry on this side, then I think it goes so well together. And this gold is just very classic and then platinum. And then on my neck, I have the beautiful dainty pieces. Um, I already told you why I went with this ring. I just really wanted to kind of charge up this hand a little bit more because, you know, this ring is beautiful, but it's feeling a little lonely. So I wanted another ring. And I always love when people stack their rings, except that I do have the problem of inflammation. So I needed a ring that was comfortable and thin and that will still allow me to wear it even if on that day, I don't feel as well. So I feel like this should do the job because it still has a bit of room here where the nail head is. And as for the bracelet, I've always, always admire everyone who's been, you know, unboxing the love bracelet. I know it's very popular now, super mainstream. I've always had my eye on it ever since I've, you know, discovered 
all, everyone has one. However, I have a small wrist problem and I know some of you do too. They measure 13 and a half centimeter just for your reference. So every time I was interested in a bracelet, they just don't give me the look that I want. It either is there's just something off about it. It's either too chunky or it's too big. It falls too low on my arm or it literally rotates on me without even trying. So this one still rotates, but I have to uh, guide it myself. Whereas the size 16, it will just turn on its own while I'm moving my arm. So the size 15 is the most perfect size that Gatsi has ever made. I don't believe they had a size 15 before when I tried their bracelets. And if they did, uh, there was something that I didn't like about the classic one anyway. It was just a little thick for my liking. I did try it again this time and compared to this size, I just really like how dainty and feminine and still really classic and still pops on my hands. This is why it took me so long to finally take the plunge um, in fine jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> the year that I'm turning 40. Uh, basically, I guess I never really fancied it as much before and they are very pricey. In all honesty, I was not aware of the fact that the thin version existed. And even if I did sort of see a few unboxings here and there in the last couple years, um, everyone always just unboxed a larger size, so I wasn't even aware that the smaller size existed. I asked to try the Juste and Clue just to stack it together to see if I even liked how it looked. So she brought me the Juste and Clue bracelet, small size in 14 centimeter. I just didn't feel super, super comfortable after trying it that it bends so easily. Wanted to make sure that I'm even comfortable wearing this 24 seven first before I even went a step further and adding another one, especially in a design that just seems or looks a bit flimsy to me. The ring I don't mind because the ring doesn't move around and it's a piece of solid gold that stays on my finger. I feel like the ring is pretty safe and I do love the design. I did want to get something in that line. So I went with the ring instead. I will revisit in the future if I want the bracelet. She also gave me uh, traveling pouches and cleaning kits. So uh, she, she actually gave me two cleaning kits because I bought two items. Uh, but otherwise, she also told me that when it's not the pandemic, that you can just walk into any Cartier store. They have the serial numbers of my items in their system. So they will do free cleaning for life. So that's a really nice service, I feel. So this is a little pouch for my ring. I love these pouches. They are just perfect, just like the Ana Luisa ones. I love having these pouches for traveling. And then I also have this larger pouch. So luxurious. With a little pillow, I feel like. Yeah, it's a little pillow. And it also has two slots inside. The cleaning kit, she gave me two of these. She said that I can use it on all of my other fine jewelry. So platinum, yellow gold, white gold, comes with a little cloth, this solution, and a little brush, and a little booklet. And the inside is velvet. 100% natural ingredients made in France. That is so cool. So let me know what you think of my Cartier pieces. I'm in love, like literally filming this video for this hour, I already feel like I'm already getting used to it. But like I said, I'm gonna let you guys know in the future how I feel about it and whether I'm gonna keep on this arm or change to this arm. Let me know if you're also a little wrist person like me. Uh, this ring is rotating a little bit, huh? I guess it is normal because my, I have such a big knuckle piece here. Like it's all fluid inside, but um, you know, my, my finger is relatively normal. It's just all the joints, they are very inflamed. Today is already not bad, by the way. This is not bad. I have worse days. So um, yeah, I feel like I'll get a lot of use out of this ring as well. I mean, I already love this one. I'm gonna leave all the links to the Ana Luisa pieces. Definitely check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel and you love this type of content, consider subscribing. I would love to have you back. And I'll talk to the rest of you guys very soon. Bye.